Any anyone else? Abhishek, sir, two, two, huh? Two means co. It is given the sense of co. Suppose we have an example. Let's see. He fought dash the last breath. Fine. Then, which preposition will be placed here? Which preposition will be placed here? In this case, we will place here two. He fought to the last breath. Okay, but if we have given the sentence in this way, he fought. Dash filler, the last breaths. There is a difference of s only. He fought dash filler, which is the last breath. And then another example is he fought dash the last breaths. Fine. In this, in these two cases, the first will be filled with the two type of preposition, which is the first. We will place here two. पहले वाले केस में two लगाएंगे. In another case, he fought the last breath. Breath and plus s. Then we will place till. Just remember this. Okay. Till the last breath and to the last breath. These are two different sentences which are placed with different different types of preposition. Okay. So it is general use of to and towards. Now move to. Another example, which is on. Uh, uh, we have done on or not? Yes, uh, uh, wait, on. Okay, it it is already complete. So, which preposition is from after and before? Okay, move to the next after and before. After and before. This uh, this is another kind of preposition which we need to place. Which is after and before. It has different different senses and different different type of sentences. So let's see with examples. Which is the first example? It is a dog. Is running. Dash. Its master. Okay. Here we can fill after. It giving the sense of movement along with his uh, along with its master. The dog is running after his master. The master and the dog. Fine. Another example. She is sitting dash me in a row. Okay, then you can place either after or before both. She is sitting before me in a row. She is sitting after me in a row. It gives you the sense of position. Where he where she is sitting. Fine. Then you can fill both A and B uh, after and before both. Now move to another example. Suppose we have another example is she talks dash. Her mother. Okay, she talks her mother. What can we place as a preposition after or before? Which preposition can be placed after or before? Talking 
before talking after here will be after after her mother represents that she is talking to her mother it gives the sense like this she talks after her mother apni ma ke samne okay next another example where it has another kind of sense is suppose the satellite the satellite was named pillar aryabhatta dash the famous mathematician fine in this sentence we have to fill after of before which have another kind of sense so the sentence will be that the satel uh, the satellite was named yeah, after the satellite was named after aryabhatta the famous mathematician which is the after is here it giving the sense ki tarah okay unke upar ya unki tarah the aryabhatta was named aryabhatta oh, sorry the satellite was named after aryabhatta the famous mathematician ki tarah ya ke upar fine it is giving the sense ke upar ke upar ka matlab in the sense उनके नाम से मिलता होगा ठीक तो इट गिव्स द सेंस ऑफ आफ्टर एंड बिफोर विच गिव्स यू द पोजिशन विच गिव्स यू द मूवमेंट विच गिव्स यू द सेंस ऑफ टॉकिंग लाइक एंड विच गिव्स यू द सेंस ऑफ डिसम्बलेंस फाइन सो दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ प्रिपोजिशन आफ्टर एंड बिफोर नाउ मूव टू अनदर टाइप ऑफ प्रिपोजिशन विच विल ऑल्सो गिव द सेंस ऑफ uh position either uh, uh condition which is below and above it is another kind of preposition and which type of preposition is it it is the preposition of a uh, place you can say hmm. first example first suppose we have given children there Eighteen have to buy ticket. It is a sentence where we have to fill above or below. So it is a conditional sentence. Suppose the sentence is saying that uh, uh, the children below the age of eighteen uh, have uh, have to buy ticket. Another way of Since that children above eighteen have to buy the ticket, then you can place here both below and above. Fine. It it uh, it will be completely based on the situation. It will be completely based on the condition. Fine. But you can fill here both after and before. But generally, the sense makes sense of above. Fine. Next. You you can uh, write the another example. matching with the same sense okay suppose persons person dash 18 have right to cast vote fine then uh, here is certain that you have to fill above here it is showed that you have to fill above why above because 18 have right to uh, to cast their vote fine 18 is the number and uh, it refers the age of the person The so person above eighteen have right to cast vote. Here it is sure. Here it is certain that above will be filled. But in first case, it is not certain that above will be filled or below will be, because both the conditions can be see, uh, can be uh, true. Okay, it is completely conditional. Move to the third. Suppose he is dash. Mm, 
poverty he is dashed poverty if he had placed above just look he is above poverty above poverty it doesn't give the sense that he is uh, rich it doesn't give the sense that he is rich because poverty is given and you are thinking that uh, he is above poverty it means he is rich no he is not rich he it this above is giving the sense se pare se anjan Fine. This verb is giving the sense of se pare, se anjan, se dur. So it is not the sentence that is saying that he is rich, but it is the sentence which is saying that he is not familiar with party. Or either he is completely uh, different from the party. Fine. So in this sense, the verb gives the sense of se pare, se dur, se anjan, like this. Move to another example. Which can be both an aeroplane. Suppose an aeroplane is flying the clouds. Okay. Shrirant, Shrirant, any problem? Is there any? Sir, can we use? Ah, uh, you you are not completely audible, but uh, please say. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, you can ask. Okay. Dash the clouds here, above and below, both can be. Filled because both refers the position either place place of movement or position of movement. Then you can place either above or below. You can place both. Okay. Now move to next kind of preposition, which is uh, if if anyone have any doubt, can ask. We have studied two two words after and before. Then the next is below and above. Okay, can we now move to the another type of preposition, which is with? Have have we completed with? Wait, I'm checking. Why across and to all from off? No, you are okay. With with me generally refers sad. Ke dwara ya se fine. Depends on condition. The first sentence is the first example is. He was filled with fear. You can say courage. Any other aspect. You can say sorrow. So he was filled. Filler, fear, courage, sorrow. One of any of these three. Then you will always fill with. Okay. With will give the sense of say, he was filled with fear. He was filled with courage. He was filled with sorrow. Will give the, you the sense of say. Move to another example. Okay, uh, it, it is the example which we have studied earlier. Like suppose was beaten. Dash the headmaster. Dash a stick. Okay, 
it is the sentence uh, we have read earlier then there are two fillers first is after beaten and second is after headmaster which will be placed with with and uh, which filler will be placed with another kind of preposition so what will be the correct sentence by placing preposition can we use below in previous sentence in previous hmm so shant we can also fill below in previous in, in this sentence is uh, wait for one minute sushant asked the question that uh, can we fill below here so if we will place below here okay, we we can fill below is below poverty below poverty refers the worst condition of the past in poverty okay worst condition of poverty means woh garib to tha aur garibi se below poverty means aur garib aa jaye hai na which is Oh, more more poorer than poverty level. It uh, it has another kind of word you have. Okay, it has another kind of word. Wait, he is below poverty. Okay, it it shows that uh, he his condition is lower than poverty. वो गरीबी रेखा से नीचे है या गरीबी से नीचे है है ना इट विल गिव द सेंस दैट ही इज मच पुअर कि वो बहुत गरीब एंड वन वर्ड विच कैन बी यूज एज बिलो पॉवर्टी लेवल दैट इज पॉपर दिस वर्ड इज यूज फॉर मोर पुअर बहुत जो गरीब होते हैं बहुत जो दीनहीन अवस्था में होते हैं दैट कैन बी यूज बिलो पॉवर्टी एंड बिलो पॉवर्टी रिफर्स दैट इट इज अ वर्ड विच कैन रिफर विद below poverty level that is proper proper is the word which is used here okay so sushant you can fill here here below but uh, i was telling that uh, if we place here above that uh, it will not it can give you the sense of above poverty level but this above will also give the sense of non familiar with this okay so if we if we have given the sentence he is above poverty then it is the it it will give the sense of not familiar with poverty okay he is differ from poverty in this way but you can also fill below okay now move to the last example which was ram was beaten filler the headmaster filler the stick so one of you please unmute your mic and uh, tell me the answer okay eksha can you tell the answer Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Hmm. What will be the answer? Ram was beaten. Filler the headmaster. Filler the uh, ice stick. It is the same sentence. Ram was beaten have... by the headmaster with a stick. By a head by the headmaster and with a stick. stick. Okay. Okay. Fine. Because by is always placed before doer. So headmaster was the doer. Headmaster was beating the beating Ram. So by will be placed before headmaster and uh, with will be placed before the instrument which play, with which he was beat. Okay, fine, very good. Move to another example. Another example is <coughs> suppose we have given. he faced the problems wait he faced the problem dash courage fine which preposition will be placed with he faced the problem with courage okay in this sentence you can face with uh, move to another kind of example here with give the sense of 
say saat both both the sen- senses can be of saat and sen ya ke dwara all type of senses can be felt with with move to another example suppose mahatma gandhi rare wait for a while mahatma gandhi fought against the british dash non violence it is a sentence where with gandhi till okay uh, it was another filler that can ask in exam fought against the british with non violence fine so uh, it is a sentence which was asked in previous year with the two fillers first was this and other was this so because we are talking about with so we have given uh, i'm give, giving you just one filler but it was asked with excuse me fillers. sir okay hmm so can by be used in the place of with can by be used okay uh who is asking wait okay if if we place here by then if you have remember when we were in by then i told you that by is always placed before doer okay by is always placed before doer if we have given a doer if we have given a person who is doing something by whom the uh, action has been done then we always place by but here non violence is the uh, uh, is a kind of noun okay abstract noun with which mahatma gandhi was uh, mahatma gandhi fought with against the britishers so by can not be used here okay because if we place here by then we need an uh, any type of doer in place of abstract noun okay so just because of this we always please with by agar okay, hum laga okay. denge ha uh, ha uh, okay yes i understood okay move to answer the right so uh, it is the previous year question previous year question with the two fillers mahatma gandhi fought filler the british british uh, filler non violence fine move to another another sentence is the glass was filled dash honey filled with honey it is the common sentence which we can see now hmm all filler all his efforts failed it is a sentence with two filler where we have to fill with and any other kind of preposition anybody can answer okay i'm i'm just writing here he filler all is the first after okay anyone else ritesh sir sir with hmm. uh, what 
with 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 okay uh shushant you are not audible sorry shushant उदित गंगवार है ना ओके लेट्स सी फर्स्ट इज आफ्टर सॉरी फर्स्ट इज विद विच इज द विद इट विल गिव द सेंस ऑफ इन स्पाइट ऑफ in spite of or despite these two words will be represented by with with is giving the sense of in spite of or despite ke bawajood it is the conditional sentence in spite of all his effort he failed अपने सभी प्रयासों के बावजूद वह फेल हो गया सो हेयर विद इज गिविंग देंस ऑफ के बावजूद इन स्पाइट ऑफ डिस्पाइट ऑल हिज एफर्ट फेल्ड इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल हिज एफर्ट ही फेल्ड बट आफ्टर विल नॉट बी यूज इच्छा ओके आफ्टर आफ्टर ऑल हिज एफर्ट आफ्टर ऑल इज द फ्रेज आफ्टर ऑल इज द कंप्लीट फ्रेज so here with will be filled which will give you the sense of in spite of or despite which mean ke bawajood okay so these are some examples of with move to one more type of people which is over Why? It it, uh, it generally gives the it denotes the position, position like this. Okay, it shows the O. Oh. So there is a fan over the boy. Next example is an aeroplane. पोजिशन यू कैन से ओवर ओके इट मीन्स इट इज फ्लाइंग ओवर माई हाउस मीन्स ऊपर बट अब जनरली डी नोट टू रिप्रेजेंट द हाइट जनरली रिप्रेजेंट Hi. Another example. So these two examples of over for position. Let's see another example. Suppose a trivial issue. A trivial issue. Please dear over. then it will give you the sense aran ke liye par it will give you the sense ke karan they fight over trivial issue it means ve lade kis pe lade trivial issue par lade ya trivial issue ke karan lade give the sense of this no she jumped pillar the ball here you can see position so these are some examples of over this position another is this they fight over 
they quarrel over they fight over so this over represents the position uh, the case where par ke liye ke karan are given so look on these type of prepositions if you have any doubt you can ask so we studied first two and two words another is after and before below and above and uh, and the last was o okay and feel the sense position word is giving and with these senses and with uh, these positions and with these type of uh, uh, classification you can fill the preposition with 